Stacy and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. That's no one. Move your body. Classic on East Coast Radio. Move your body, Nina Sky. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Any judgments are from you, your side, Stacey? Are you <laughs> suggesting that this gentleman is saying Snow White? I thought he said Snow White. No, he's saying Slow Wind. Slow Wind. Fast Wind. Slow yes, Wind. Yes. Move your body. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Snow I White. It Cinderella. <laughs> Rapunzel. <laughs> Elsa. Hulk. Frozen. <laughs> okay, all of it. No, well, that's a different universe. I'm just going to add all the different animation, uh, animation, animation stars. We were, just, we, it. we were just in a Disney. Yeah, but I'm adding everyone now. Everyone needs well, to. technically, Marvel is owned by Disney. So, yeah, tangentially, yeah. I love people. it how you, you finally finally learned what the lyrics actually are. Yeah. yeah you, After all these years. I've invested myself this year, guys. Especially this month. Hey, You're I'm giving extra. Learn. I'm giving extra this month. <laughs> I love it. Uh, just before this one, Mumford and Sons, good people. Stacey and Jace Bond, East Coast Radio. KZN, someone hit music station. Now, in the first half of the show, guys, we are people's people. And we all belong to a neighborhood. Whether our reputation in this neighborhood is good or bad, that is totally up to the neighborhood and our behavior and how we live our lives. So in this hour, depending on whether you know, you're bragging or you're li- literally pulling yourself down, we want to chat about what you're known for. Ooh. Now, the reason why this is even a concept is very often on the show, we'll ask you a question, right? Generally, two to three times a show, we're asking you something or the other. And then you send in a WhatsApp voice note. Our producer will love your voice note. She'll call you and then she'll go, hey, Megan or whatever, insert your name here. Would you be keen on going on air with Stacey and Jay Sprue? And 95% of the time, the response is, you know what? Oof, I'd love to, but I have a very recognizable voice. People know me. And people know me. So on the back end of that, we were like, well, considering everybody is so familiar moose up in this joint what exactly are you famous for whether that is in the streets uh in the streets back home in i don't know in a shopping center in your child's school whatsapp group where you reside mainly what are you famous for jay what are you famous for uh mine's gonna be boring because obviously i work on the radio everyone's gonna be like oh that guy, that guy from the radio, yeah. That guy from Stacy and Jace. Where's Stacy? <laughs> <laughs> that guy from the radio. Where's she's, Stacey? She's in my backpack. <laughs> I'm just like all the time. I swear to you, all the time. I'm like, she's she's at home hanging out with a cat. Yeah, people. Yeah, actually, you so know, maybe what? that's what I'm known for. You yeah. and your cat. Yeah. Where are you and your cat? Yeah. Um, what are you known for? T- same, same. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm famous for my voice. Oh, people know your voice. They know eh? the voice. Mm. Yeah, and and it's always it's always so funny to see when people are trying to place it, and then I start speaking a little bit softer, and they try oh, to lean in, and so they're racking your brains, going, "I know, I know this voice, I know this voice, I know this voice." And then very often they'll ask somebody else, and like, "Yeah, that's that is her. You're the girl from the radio." And they're so proud of themselves. So oh. yes, that's that's it. I'm I'm famous for making you stress about whether or not your memory can <laughs> remember a sound, which is my voice. And Nicholas Tatum, mm. guys, I'm. I'm not famous for nothing, guys. Excuse me. Just, are you? Like, are you not? No, but are you not legacy? Are you, Your family is all legacy. The from the <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Oh, didn't your Didn't your grandparents like uh, make Hilton or something? Uh, that's That's a long. Story. <laughs> Stacey, that's this very, is a very, very uncomfortable spot that you're putting him in. Eh? Yeah. Uh, I don't think that uh, he's our rich go friend. Go and, yeah, you can you can find <laughs> yes. the book. Find yes. the book about my friend. Yes, Stacey, if, he is the rich. He's friend. our rich friend. Okay, he's all right. The stable one. So while we he try is. and extort money out of Nicholas Tatham's family trust, you're gonna battle. <laughs> you tell us what are you famous for on zero six one seven nine two nine four nine five. Hi, Stacey and Jace Boo. It's Sia here from Fairhead. Now, coming from Fairhead, a very small town, you blink, you might miss it. I feel like I'm not popular, but I'm known for being that black guy who is constantly <laughs> only around the um, Caucasians and always speaking Afrikaans. Stacey and Jace Boo. I was just like he had a, something out of the microwave too soon. <laughs> Oh, like you make me wanna East Coast Radio horns, eh? KZN's number one hit music station <laughs> Stacey and Jay Spoo Just uh, check it up Because we are surrounded By celebrities hey, KZN famous. is teeming <laughs> With famous people So much so that when we I, call you Just to chat Maybe pop you on the radio You know what I mean Get your opinion on something The general response is Unfortunately <laughs> Anonymous. Anonymous I can't Because everybody knows me And I don't want them to You know So now we are actually asking 
what are you famous for? And, and, and it, can, it can be anything. You know, you can cop to. In fact, if you're making it up, how would we know? Yeah, but I'm keen. Like, I'm keen for the spicy bit to start where someone is claiming to be known for something and someone from that particular neighborhood is like, ah, smiley, hey, we, don't, we don't know that person for well, that. Well, actually, Sia, who we played earlier, uh-huh. saying he is from Frey 8 and he is. <laughs> he's the only black guy. He's, uh, he's with running the around all, yeah, with all the white kids <laughs> speaking Afrikaans. Yeah. Someone, hang on, wait, John. John Flanagan on our WhatsApp line said, Sia from Frey Hate is telling the truth. I believe Verified. in Sia, but I'm hoping for the opposite to happen where it's like, ah, uh-uh, ah, it's not good. He's actually not that great. I've never even heard of uh, no, who, who is this God. person? All right, so KZN, please let us know. 0617929495. What are you known for, famous for, in your neighborhood? We're going to go to Rihanna up next. Hey, Stacey and Jay Spoo. The thing that I am famous for in my hood is to organize people a job. They are very grateful for it. No, I'm not a recruitment officer, but I generally like assisting people in that sense. Stacey and Jay Spoo. Maroon 5, she will be loved on East Coast Radio. I must uh, regale you quickly. Okay. There All we you go. famous people listening right now. Yes, Auntie Stacey, give it to us. This is obviously off their debut album, Songs About Jane. I don't know who Jane is, but... I believed it was me. You believed it was you? you? Guys, no one has ever been so obsessed with someone they were never going to meet as I was with Adam Levine. So the, the debut single, This Love. Uh, yeah, yeah, This Love, yeah. Where he's just running around in a little red hoodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. It's you. And then in this one, he was dating the, the daughter, but he was actually in love with the mother. I was like, I don't know who Jane is, but I'm ready. You want to be Jane? Yeah. Was Jane a good, kind person? It doesn't matter. She had access to Adam Levine. And then when he married uh, the fancy model girl from Namibia, I was like, he's just here. Yeah. I can get to that border. I can be the Jane that I want to be. I can be be from Namibia. I look great on a sand dune. Look at you, Stacey. You've wanted to be many, many things in your life. Just wanted to be Mrs. Levine for a minute. Look at you. Listen. We've moved on. Uh, It was Craig David at some point. Uh, It was Adam Levine at some point. I am an equal opportunist weirdo. <laughs> Any, just, I'm always ready. Yeah, on that case, then we're asking you, what are you, what are you known for? What are you famous for? Got a message here coming through from uh, Thai Sanushka Atea Naidu, uh, minding my own business. Well, hey with, now. With, uh, those many names, I reckon maybe you shouldn't be minding your own business. Go <laughs> like business number one, Thai business number two, Sanushka business number three, Atea business number four. Very your surname. specific. <laughs> we know exactly. Mind your business, girl. Exactly who you are. You're like, and I never say a word on the line from the bluff we have Sam how are you I'm well and you guys so good now Sam what are you famous for uh, so I'm famous for being on TikTok. My handle is Sam Bocher one and often uh, so I'm a medical rep and I visit pharmacies and people yeah. walk up to me and say, aren't you the tea with Sam girl from TikTok? I'm like, yes, that's me. Just for being so on have, TikTok, eh? But just being on TikTok. Uh, so I get a lot of places now starting to like reach out to do collaborations. So wow. yeah, it's quite exciting. So it's paying wow. off as well. Uh, so what I specialize in is uh, things to do in case it ends. So I always plug people in on places to visit in nice. case it is. Nice. So yes, I had my moment of fame where one day I was at a pharmacy expo and one of uh, this lady walks up to me and she's like, please can I get a photo with you? Yeah. Sounds like a celebrity. Isn't it nice when someone asks you for a picture, hey? It's like, hey, let's take this picture. Let's, let's, I uh, can't remember wait this for moment. them to ask for autographs <laughs> next. <laughs> so 90s, but no, I like You know it. what, Sam, what you need to now do, and, and think about it, like when you, when you get your first paycheck from your first collab, right? You go and have little postcards printed of your face with your TikTok handle on it. You get a fancy pin. You're like, wait, I have something for you. Oh, so for all of my adoring fans. Whip it out of the bag. And, just, and, and, and the way that people make it rain with money, that's how you make it rain with those pictures. Personalized, babe. You must ride the wave. Make your money. Uh, that's just it. Uh, you know, uh, the good thing is uh, so I'm a mom influencer, so I plug moms in on places Ooh. to visit in case it is. Oh. And like a lot of the kids play places in case it is contact me and they're like, please come and visit our place. So my kids get to go in free. So no. it's all paying off, guys. Oh, well done to okay, you, but, but I mean, also, Sam, you and I need to have a conversation about how we can monetize this, but we'll have that conversation off air. Yeah, she's okay. living a different kind of life, eh? We don't go to places for free. No, only the kids are getting free things. Sam oh, should be getting free things, too. Nice. Guys, seems like there's a lot of famous people across KZN. We want to know more about you. We want to be your besties. We also want to get free things. We also like people taking pictures with us. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Please. Hello, KZN. This is Munashe from Empire Gaining. I'm famous for being the movie guy. If you 
you want to talk about movies, come to Munashe or any theater work. Hi, Stacey and Jace Fu. It's Jodine here. Well, for me, I can say I'm known for being the responsible one, I guess. For telling the truth, then then nobody talks to you after that. I am known for being allergic to my job. Most people in my industry will know who it is. Hi, it's Coast Radio. My name is Fanele Mkwanazi. In my hood, when I grew up, when I was young, I used to drive wire cars. Hey, Stacey and Jay Spoo. So I am famous for the first tattoo that I ever got. And I got my first ever number plate tattooed on my hip bone. And my number plate said, Ask Dad. Stacy and Jay's boo. <laughs> this is such a fun one. So uh, in my circle, I am known for the guy that's got a guy. If you need a mechanic, I know a guy. If you need a, a nail technician, I got a girl. Yeah, I'm that guy. Hi, Stacy and Jay's boo. I'm actually famous for my big mouth in the family. People actually don't understand stand that I don't have a mlomom kulu. It's just that I have big words that come out of my small mouth. My mouth is small, guys. Come now. Stacey and Chase Boo. Weekdays, 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.